the first time sensitive details of the FBI's warrantless surveillance program have been released. It's all thanks to an American IT worker turned activist who's now won a long legal right to expose the agency's secrets. In 2004, Nicholas Merrill, the owner of an internet service provider, received a demand from the FBI to disclose the private data of one of his clients. Well, at the time, Merrill refused. Indeed, he took the agency to court. For 11 long years, a gag order barred him from speaking out publicly until now. He's released the original letter which the FBI sent him. The agency demanded that he hand over data to his clients, uh, of his clients' IP address, even cell phone tracking records as well. Investigators also wanted all of the person's electronic order forms as well as any other transaction records. A lot of information requested there. We asked Nicholas Merrill why he refused to comply. The reason that I didn't want to uh, cooperate with this uh, demand immediately was because uh, it was not a legal demand. I've spent a quarter of my life now with this legal challenge to the government collecting information on everyone without a warrant, but I don't feel like it's a waste of a quarter of my life. I'm the only person who has managed to fully be released from one of these gag orders. Uh, out, of, out of the half a million uh, national security letters that have been sent out. What I was able to reveal just now was that with a national security letter, the FBI is able to collect a huge amount of data on people. Well, under U.S. surveillance laws, the FBI has been sending out these so-called national security letter demands to companies across America. In fact, more than 240,000 such letters were issued between 2010 and 2014. Now, the FBI says it can keep secretly obtaining such information under its existing authority, too. Nicholas Merrill, again, hopes his legal victory against the agency will inspire others now. This is happening right now. Uh, my understanding is that every day, roughly nine or ten national security letters are going out to Internet providers and mobile phone companies and collecting everyone's records. Companies like Google and Facebook and Twitter have started to kind of come to life and, and have started to resist the U.S. government trying to seize all their data. Uh, same thing with Apple and, uh, and other companies as well. So for me, that's a very encouraging thing. I'm happy that, that since this information is now out in the public domain, that we'll, able, we'll be able to have a much more open and, and free discussion of exactly what is appropriate for the government to collect on people when they're not even suspected of wrongdoing, which is the case with many, if not most, of the targets of national security letters.